former Trump senior economic advisor. Uh, good to see you, Stephen. As, as always here, it's just somewhat of, um, somewhat of irony, if you will, that you pointed out that, hey, some of this material actually is here, but you want to push for it, but you won't mine for it. Um, can you elaborate? Mm -hmm. There are several points I'd like to make about this. First of all, um, I, I'm almost happy to see some of the more radical uh, climate change people saying, well, EVs aren't even the solution to the problem. Uh, the, the ultimate goal of many of the, of the radical environmentalists who seem to be driving Biden policy is to get rid of cars altogether. I mean, they don't, you know, I, I think most of us regard the automobile as one of the greatest inventions in the history of the world. And they want to get rid of it. They want everybody on transit and buses and, and uh, subway systems. And so I kind of applaud these radicals by, by at least admitting that this is they want, what they want. They don't want people to have individual mobility and freedom. Now, it is true that uh, there's no real environmental benefit to moving to EVs because you do have uh, a lot of... Uh, Pollution caused by the by the batteries and and the electric generation. By the way, where do people think we're going to get the electric uh, electricity to charge the batteries? You know, we get most of our electricity from uh, natural gas and coal, so it, it, it's not much of a solution to the problem. What I believe, and I think what most sane Americans believe in, is let let people drive whatever car they want to. Right. Of, of course, that sounds like an obvious statement here, especially right. if people don't have the money to buy a new electric vehicle too. at this point, or they don't have the charging location uh, to make sure that they can actually get from point A to point B. Um, but of course, with those uh, protesters, e even that's not OK. We got to all take our bikes along and, and travel across the country. Good luck with that. Mm. All right. Also, last week, Stephen, China had filed a complaint with the World Trade Organization accusing the U.S. of, quote, discriminatory requirements for electric vehicle subsidies uh, believed to be linked to a new rule that took effect here in the U.S. January 1st. It declares any EV made with critical minerals or other battery components from China, Russia, North Korea, or Iran is not eligible for tax credits. Uh, can you talk to us about this new rule and why China uh, issued this complaint? Well, I want to go back, if I may, to just something that you just said about the, re the, uh, the ability to have the chargers. You know, there's another big story that just broke yesterday about the fact that even though we're spending something like seven billion with a B, seven billion dollars in the so-called Inflation Reduction Act to build, uh, to have taxpayers build these charging stations that you see on your screen, guess how many they've built so far? Oh, I thought this was rhetorical. You know what? We actually reported on this not yeah. too long ago. There's not many. Minimal. Is it seven thousand <laughs> no. or something like that? No, way, way less than that. Less than a hundred. And you know, oh. it's like seventy million dollars per charging station so far. Boy, and so crazy. people are saying, wait a minute, we spent all this money uh, and we're still spending it. Where are the charging stations? So that's a big problem as well. Uh, I, in terms of the minerals and, and China, we have. That was my point of my tweet: is that we have plenty of. We have more minerals and precious minerals and metals in this country than any other country in the world. In our mountains of Dakota and Utah and Montana and California, we could easily be completely self-sufficient in terms of mining for these these minerals that you need for green energy. And yet, the environmental groups don't want to allow us to mine here. So where do we have to get the batteries from? China. How's that in America's economic interest? Also, the, uh, aside from um, what you were saying there, too, the emission standard that, that, again, this administration is trying to get this country to meet, trying to get automakers to be able to meet this, reducing carbon emissions by more than 50 percent by 2030. Um, the, uh, the, this, the car sales um, industry, if you will, is having <laughs> issues with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a great point. I mean, did you see that Tesla actually reported a decline in sales? That doesn't sound like yes. the market is moving toward electric vehicles. You know, most electric vehicles today are being sold in about four states. Uh, obviously, California leads the way, New York, New Jersey, states like Connecticut. What are those? those are basically blue liberal states. So liberals are buying electric vehicles. But if you go to, you know, Iowa or you go to North Dakota or some of these red states, nobody's buying them. I, I, would, I would make the case to you that the worst thing that ever happened to the electric vehicle vehicle industry is Joe Biden, because he's totally politicized it. He's throwing right. all this tax dollars at it. And a lot of people just out of conscience are saying, I'm not going to buy these cars if, if Biden's going to force me to do it.